All right, to be fair. Again, a great Troy Tulisky impression. Now, Miguel Cabrera, one for two at the walk so far. Usually, I... I don't know. Go on. What would you say? He was the better player this year, just for his team total. Troy Tulisky or Albert Pujols? Like, he did more. I think that if you took... I'm trying to think, what would this... If you took... Like how many runs did Troy Tulisky score? Yeah, you I think know? you could take Pujols out of the lineup more than you could take... Um, and this team would have still made the playoffs more than you could take Tulowitzki out. I think if you were to put them both in kind of like the same lineup, I'd probably take Pujols. But just, I think that with, I mean, you've got two guys with six homers on this team. Um, you had three <laughs> guys, including Pujols, who hit four homers. You've got plenty of power on this team. You can still get... Just of imagine if they had a guy who was on base 60% of the yes. time to lead off. Well, but... <laughs> Although, to be fair, Troy Tulisky did have a home run in the opening game of the playoffs, which I was very happy to see. He had no walks. He just had two yeah, hits. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Like, when Troy Tulisky went deep, I was like, hell yeah. Like, if my lineup does that every game, it's going to be hard to beat me, I might, I must say. Because my top of the lineup's beastly with Londroya, uh, Tulisky, and whoever I have hitting third. Oh, Swisher. That's right. Man, Swisher, what a great pick by me. I'm not afraid to say that. That was awesome. So Zimmerman, he is two for three, and he got that intentional walk ahead of Pujols. But they're gonna... So he has a 750 on base percentage. Oh, not anymore. 600. About Troy to a whiskey level, I would say. Here comes Albert Pujols, professional, very professional hitter, I should say. I gotta attach the very there. I don't want to put him in the same league as a loot shot. Yeah. The poor host gods would be angry at me if I did that. He has his own lineup of gods now. He's kind of a big deal. Speaking of poor host, let's see how he's doing on the year now. I know he uh, after a rough start, then he faced some cubs pitching that pleased him yep. a lot. <laughs> Though he strikes out here. So that's the cure for all rows. Just give it the cubs. Matsui. Let's see how that has goes. a double. A homer, two walks. He's had a good day. Yeah. He already has the elusive double. That's yes, so hard that to get elusive, the cycle. He's, you know, he's hogging the doubles. The one of them. Oh, but so that's into left field. Loop shot. Fast and not fast enough, yes, however. Scott will get it. So that will retire the side, but the Weasels still with a 7 2 lead. I just find it funny how Pujols is having a good year by anyone else's standards besides Pujols. Oh, yeah. It's... But he has 14 home runs, 40 RBIs, more ball, more bases on balls than strikeouts. But he's only hitting 274. Like, he's, having, no, no, like, like, he's not doing too bad. Like, he, you know, you just know he's going to catch absolute fucking fire for a month. And that's going to be raised by, like, 40 bad, you know. Yeah, and it's going to be like, oh, okay, he's still Pujols. Yeah, exactly. He'll... It's not that far off. So Nelson like, Cruz is going to work a leadoff walk here. Like the only number that's even slightly off is just basically the average is, you know, dip below his career average. But he had a rough start, and he, he's basically been pull holes for most of, you know, the stuff. Like, he's hitting 310 in June, for example. That's pull holes like. Yep. So that one will go up the middle. So Beltran is going to put runners at first and second for Luke Scott. The Weasels are doing their damnedest to make this game close. Mm -hmm. That's very kind of them. Let's see if... What what would you say about Luke Scott? Luke Scott, professional hero... Oh, sorry, professional hitter and a hero of last game. Yep. Looking for a chance to get this game back within reach. As Mariah Carey would say... Or rather, she would ask, will a hero come along? Yeah. I like that song. Mariah right, Carey's not that bad of a singer. Very good singer. Bit crazy, though. Get holding out for a hero. Oh, look, look at look at that. Look at that great move. I thought he broke his like elbow or something, but no, it was a move. <laughs> yeah, if he just breaks his elbow, it just flops off in a video game. That would be one of the better moments in Board 8 Baseball history. One of the weirder ones, too. And that ball is hit to... It's floating, and it will not get caught. So, Luke Scott, professional hitter with an RBI single in the eighth. 
Now, here comes Giovanni Soto, who was bid last game as well. Nobody out. 7-3 game. What is the first and third? The Grolons are making it interesting. Yep. And we will have Steven Drew, who's already homered today. Looks like he's going to get that at bat oh, after gapper. all. And he falls to the gap. One run is in. Two runs. And a second one will follow as he gets an elusive double. And Bodro is just walking up to that mound, shaking his head. He is not happy. Now here comes Johnny Venters, which in my opinion just is asking to get a home run hit off of you. But they're... What? 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 what just happened? Why did he pinch hit? Apparently, Steven Drew injured himself being too awesome. <laughs> and Carlos Guillen is now up to bat. Um, Wow. For one, ha, he's next to that bat. I was right. You were wrong. Two. Wow. Really? Wow. Really? That when is it, worse. Oh, it hits that ball, and it's just going to be an out because you pitch hit for the guy who was three for three. <laughs> that is I think that's worse than than that is, the. I th I think I think Dorinia is gonna fucking lose his fucking mind if he loses this game. Yeah. Over oh, that. Yeah. He should. Oh, wow. He should feel bad. I am. I am literally shot. Although that was the first out in the inning, to be fair, and it is now a seven-five game. So by no means was that a death sentence. But oh god. That was not only expressed levels of bad, to be fair. <laughs> No, de no, no death in the air. Oh, and that was a strike? Okay, whatever, umpire. One and two count. That was just shocking. Well, to be fair, he did move the runner over, so this can be a sat fly if it doesn't drop. See, sat fly. It, it was like a chain sat fly. Yep. So that will make the game seven to six, and why is Boker's bullpen so bad? Carlos Perez, seriously. It's it's Boko. He's He's got and other, he's bullpen, got other talents. So my my bullpen is so good, by the way. Like after I got rid of Matt Matt Adams, or whatever his name is, Mike Adams, Adams is suck. Mm -hmm. uh, my bullpen is so good. I just want to say that. Now here comes A Rod in a clutch spot, and he singles. Plot twist. Yeah, didn't see that shoot coming, did oh. you? So. <laughs> I really did not. Now here comes Midi Cabrera, who basically broke my heart in 2003 when he kept hitting home runs off the coach pitching staff. Oh, yeah, now you foul out, you fucking cunt. <clears throat> and anyway, out at uh, the first baseman. It, seriously, he just kept hitting home runs. You're like 21. It was disgusting. Yeah. Sir, what's his face? Ginger cunt, three tenths down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. Bron. He's such a bro. As Granderson flies out. So we have now Rafael Soriano is going to be warming. First up, Mike Napoli, they have to extend this lead, I think. They do not want to face the Gorons only down by one, in my opinion. Even if it is with a closer. The Gorons have too much heart of a champion to go down so easily. Too much heart. Yeah, and with both of these teams, you can hit a, you can get a homer anywhere in the lineup. So. Oh, definitely. This has turned into a very exciting game. These day, these, both of these last two games have been very good. They both started off as a bit of a laugher, but both teams have shown that they can come back. Now let's see if the Weasels can close out the game unlike they did unlike yesterday. That would be the key. Home run distance, but Napoli drives it foul. Yeah, a little bit uh, in front of that one. You know, I feel kind of bad for Joe Morgan when I had to do these commentaries. Because it must be really hard to come up with original things to say every game. Mm -hmm. And he definitely comes up with original things that no human being has ever said before. Well, like, he can't just do idle banter. Yeah, what the guy to get to the guy who hit a 3-1 home run last at bat. Smart idea. <sighs> Fucking idiots. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, it's not like he'll, he'll do it again, but it's just, you know... Yeah, it's just, you know, that's why, I mean... <laughs> Maybe that's the logic. He can't do it Vlad again. Vlad hit 182. It's, like, the only way he gets on base is by walks. <laughs> And that's with two outs, too. That's just so weird. Well, let's see if it pays off. Probably will. Just did it with those most of the time. Yeah. He just has moments of three and home and brilliance. Kind of like real life, really. Yep. And he strikes out. All right. So we are headed to the bottom of the ninth. Ortiz, Cruz, and Beltran. 
And in can they do it? Can they overcome the odds? Just like John Cena. Yeah. In comes Rafael Soriano. You know, it would be great if David Ortiz just hit a home run right here. Just belted one. Yeah, just don't even make us wait. First pitch. Oh, no. First step back now. But yeah. Yeah, well, now it can't be first pitch, but would have been nice. Now it can't even be second pitch. That sucks. Now Cruz warming on deck. Uh, they just show us Nelson Cruz. Like, this guy's trying to hit a home run. Just let you know. That'd be funny if they, if he did hit a home run after they showed him. Yeah, Nelson Cruz. Like, like the damn caught those shots. <laughs> oh, and... David Ortiz has sat down on a nasty breaking Nelson ball. Cruz with zero and, regular season home runs. And he's not going to add to that total. He can get inside the parker oh, still. No. No, he can't. Nope. <laughs> and now down to the final out bat. It's Carlos Beltran, who a few years ago for the Houston Astros, more than a few years ago now, was a postseason hero. So he has it in his blood. He also plays for the Mets now. So it is no longer that in his blood. Is Valid point. To be fair, you don't know because he's never made the playoffs with the Mets. Hey oh. Hey oh. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not even being mean. That's just being very truthful. Two and two count. Now they're down to the last strike. Can Rafael Soriano close it out for the Wonder Weasels? Yes, he can. And the series is now tied one at one. Yeah. 